me see if I can um, help you find them. I'm, I'm Cara, by the way. Scott. Yeah. I don't usually lose my keys in trees, by the way. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. There's always a first. Okay. They kind of just up and vanish. I will never find them. Got them. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, You're welcome. I don't know what I would have done if you didn't come along. Well, actually, you should uh, thank the Starlight Diner for insisting that I wait an extra 15 minutes for a hot apple pie to come out of the oven and have a piece. Yeah, that sounds like Al. <laughs> he, he's a pie pusher. He'll do that. But it'll be worth it, I promise. Okay, got it. Uh, sorry, I'm late for picking up my kid from hockey practice. Of course. <laughs> uh, hey, Andy. Uh, can you hang on one second? Thanks again for helping me find the keys. You really helped me out. Am I going to see you around? Um, that'd be great. Okay, great. I owe you big time. <laughs> I'll be here. All right. Well, I'll see you soon. Okay. Cara. Scott. Uh, hey, kiddo. How was talking practice? What is up, AC and Insiders? It's Francesca here, and I am joined by one of my favorite actresses in all the land, a friend of the AC, Miss Keisha Knight Fulliam, <laughs> back with another project. You were yes. constantly moving around. Man, we, yes. we, we literally just saw you on the waiting room on BET Her. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. And then we thank also you. just saw you at Tyler Perry Studios receiving yes. your star yes. on the Walk of Fame. Let's just go ahead and start there. Congratulations. Did you know that was coming? No, it was a surprise. It was a very nice surprise. Um, it was a beautiful event, but yeah, just we're out here working, man. You really are. Yeah. And now you have a project coming to one of my favorite yeah. networks. It's Lifetime Radio Christmas, Radio Christmas, November 9th, this Saturday mm -hmm. at 8 o'clock. I'm very excited. You know, it's those feel good. I love Christmas. It's one of my favorite times of year. Yeah. And um, this is one of those the whole family can sit back, watch, enjoy a little bit of love, a little bit of holiday. Yeah. You know, all of that. So. Give me a little plot twist here because I know your character, DJ yeah. Kara, is how you pronounce yes. it? DJ Kara, she kind of is a woman after my own heart. Do you know heart. what's really funny, though? Wow. Her name is actually Kara. Oh, but let me tell you some funny things. I have, I think it just may, I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's just the brown girl magic, black girl magic thing. Because my friend's name is Kara. We yeah. call her Kara. Mm -hmm. But they were like, no, it's Kara. And it took me so long to try to, like, get that together. But it's Kara. Kara. So DJ Kara. DJ Kara. Okay. She is a girl after my own heart. She works for a radio station. Yes. And it's suddenly moved. And she's trying to increase those numbers. Yes. Um, you know, Christmas, she does a Christmas radio station. 24-7, um, you know, 365 days a year. And she's trying to, like, actually do some stories that she believes in, something I know you can relate to, you know, start fighting to create um, that, that, that project that is your passion project. Mm -hmm. So she's using this as a stepping stone. A stepping stone. And um, in the, her high season, Christmas, and she has all of this stuff planned, she gets moved from Philadelphia to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, mm. which is this, you know, quaint, small town, which doesn't really lend to what she has had envisioned. Then I see a very attractive man pop up on screen <laughs> and ask her about um, a gift for his 10 year old daughter. Yes. Who was this Michael Xavier character? You know, he was really, really great to work with. This is our first project together. We actually did another project um, that we just finished in Toronto about a month ago. That's yeah. also a lifetime project. Oh. But we had a really good time. And then it came, the little girl who plays it, she is so talented and so amazing. Mm -hmm. um, it was really a great cast. We had a great time. Let me ask you this, though, because I'm thinking you're going to shoot it somewhere in Atlanta, maybe Los Angeles, New York. You didn't even shoot it in the States. No, we shot it in Winnipeg, Canada. And it was so cold. Apparently, when we were there, it was colder in Winnipeg than on Mars. <sighs> Absolutely. I know when we got off the plane, Ella was looking like, Mommy, what's going <laughs> on? I think she even said that the snow was taller than she was. No. And it was very cold. But when you're doing a Christmas movie, you can't beat real snow. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. You know, it is almost Christmas time. What's your favorite or your fondest memory of Christmas? I know you celebrate. Man, every Christmas. I love Christmas. I love just the festivity. Mm. I love the family, the food, the fun. So I enjoy it. It's like my favorite holiday. I do a Christmas brunch and all the family comes over and it's my favorite. Like the Lifetime honestly has yeah. given me the license to put my Christmas tree up before Thanksgiving. And I, Usually I would do it like the day after. Yes. See, but not this year. Same, same, same. I wanted to do it this weekend, but my sister was just like, girl. Do it. It's, I'm doing it. Really? I'm doing it. I'm totally going to do it. Okay, give our viewers one little quick, um, you know, Keisha Knight Pulliam Christmas recipe okay. if you have one. 
Oh, a quick one. Let's see. Um, something that I love doing for Christmas. Well, of course, I have my Keisha's Kitchen Spices. Oh. And oh, yes, yeah. they are amazing. You can put them on any and everything from the roast beef or the roasted prime rib that you do for the holidays. That's something that me and my family uh -huh. do. Um, it's great in chili, so we make all sorts of stuff. And you can make your roasted prime rib with my meat and all-purpose seasoning from KeishaKitchen.com. And you can sit it and watch Radio Christmas on Lifetime at, nine, um, not, at 8 o'clock on November 9th. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> one of my last questions, I'm going to dig deep on this one here because, you know, I... I've seen my girl around town a couple okay, of times, what? and I said, you know, it's Christmas time, and Christmas for me is all about love. <laughs> so with that being said, a question for our AC and insiders out there. When is it too early or too soon to introduce your new boo to family? Like, how do you know when it's right? Because I don't know if you're dating or not, but I'm just, I just have <laughs> yes, to ask. Yes, you do. Stop it. <laughs> Maybe she's dating someone. I don't know. Um, but when is it too, too early or too soon? You have to, that's your thing. You have to figure it out. For me, and I can just speak to our relationship, my relationship, we started out as friends so he met my family like at the beginning wow. because we were just friends and then it blossomed into something else so you know mm. Mm. we're very excited for you and we're excited <laughs> for this saturday november 9th radio christmas, radio christmas. starring keisha nightpoli and make sure you tune into lifetime guys it is a trailer that you don't want to miss we've already put it on our a scene facebook page on our 11alive.com slash the a scene and of course to keep up with miss keisha nightpoli they can find you at keisha nightpoli on Instagram. Thanks so much, Keisha. All right, 18 Insiders, you just heard from Keisha Knight-Pulliam.